Good morning and happy Sunday. Again, my name is Courtney. We're about to get started with a yoga class here. It's going to last about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, just depending. I just kind of go with the flow. Um, as you know, today we're donating um, all the proceeds to uh, that are made from this class to Umar residents. Hey guys, hi. Um, so if you can donate, if you can't, that's fine. Spread the word, let people know about this. Uh, if the music's too loud, let me know. We have Otis Redding going right now. So. As you know, he is a love man and he is loud sometimes, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, just trying to get this stuff figured out here. Live's been a little weird. Okay, there we go. Uh, lately, it hasn't been connecting as well, so I just wanted to give you guys a second to get to your uh, mats, get to the ground. Go ahead and find yourself an easy pose. Um, and as you know, my dogs are here, so hopefully they'll behave. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, I'm so excited to be here with you. I miss you all. Uh, it's been so weird. Um, teaching live instead of teaching you guys in person. Uh, so I would love feedback from you guys today. So if you can, let me know if you enjoyed the class or if you want a more difficult class, if you thought it was too easy or maybe vice versa. Uh, let me know what's going on with you guys and how your practice is going. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> right now I just feel like I kind of teach myself. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. So show me progress, show me anything. Uh, I'd love to know you're hanging in there. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get started. So find your way onto your mat. We'll go into easy pose, which is just cross leg. You can have your left ankle in front of your right or vice versa, whatever feels better. We know we like to start our class off with checking in with our breath and also setting an intention for the rest of the class. So take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. And a slow exhale out. Maybe relax the shoulders a little more. Inhale in through the nose. Deep belly breath here. And slow exhale out. If you'd like to, you can take your right hand, place it on your chest, left hand on your abdomen. It might be opposite for you guys. I think y'all can probably see it better this way. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> Let me try that. All right, so taking a nice deep breath in. And slow exhale out if you'd like to. You can close your eyes or just have a soft gaze. Is that a monkey? Sorry. <laughs> a soft gaze. Inhaling in and out, just focusing on anything you're in need of today. I know a lot of people have been feeling extremely anxious lately. I know I have. I go on like this roller coaster of just kind of a little anxiousness, a little, you know, just kind of what's going to happen. So just try to let that go. Just ease into your breath and know that you're here right now. We're present, we're here together. We're just gonna try to get some stretching on, especially for the shoulders and the legs. So one more breath here, focusing on that word or that affirmation, whatever you're in need of. On your next exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, arms come out and up, reaching up, up, up. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. And we're gonna rest our right hand on our left knee, left hand behind us, looking over that left shoulder. And then with every exhale, we just twist a little bit more to the left. Inhale, the arms up, coming back to center. And exhale, twisting to the right this time, or maybe it looks like my left on the video here. So right, left hand's resting on our right knee. We're looking over the right shoulder. Just a nice little twist here to wake up the spine. Detox the organs. And just trying to find that nice, smooth, controlled breath here. And then inhale, the arms up, back to center. Exhale, hands at heart. Inhale, arms come out and up. Reach, 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 reach. And exhale, hands up, heart. Beautiful. Inhale, arms come out and up, reaching as far as you can. Reach, 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 reach. Bring the elbows down, the back side of the body, reaching all the way down, opening up the chest, opening the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms come up. And elbows down the back side of the body. I love the stretch. Excellent. And then we're going to come onto our knees, guys. So let me actually face this way. Coming onto our knees for tabletop pose. So knees under the hips, wrist under the shoulders, fingers spread wide. And it's up to you if you want to tuck your toes under or 
press the tops of the feet into the mat. This is the more traditional way, but if you need more support, you're gonna tuck your toes under. So from here, guys, we're pressing away from the mat, trying to make sure our spine doesn't dip down. We're just trying to get that nice flat back here. Crown of the head's radiating forward. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna reach our right hand out and up to thread the needle, reaching up, inhale in. And on the exhale, threading that right hand in between the left wrist, left knee, dropping that right shoulder down and dropping the head down. If you'd like to, you can reach your left hand out in front of you. If you're not feeling it today, you don't have to. And in this pose, I just want to make sure, you guys, that your hips are still over your knees. You're not slouching back here or you're not pushing yourself forward. Just trying to make sure you're at 90 degree angles, if you can. Nice, slow, controlled breathing. And then when you're ready, left hand closer to the face, pressing away from the mat. Again, neutral tabletop here. This time the left hand comes out to the left side, reaching up. Left wrist in between the right wrist, right knee, and drop that left shoulder down to the ground, along with the head. And if you'd like to, you can reach that right hand out in front of you. And again, being aware of our hips over our knees. Nice deep breaths here. Just a few more breaths. And then we're going to bring the right hand closer to the face, press away from the mat, and come back to a neutral tabletop. From here, guys, we're going to go into cat cows. As we know, again, fingers spread wide, pressing away from the mat. Elbows are externally rotated, so the front or the eye sockets of your elbows, the inside, are spacing out. Taking a nice deep breath in, we're going to raise the chin, drop the spine, raise the tailbone. And then exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding the spine, dropping the head, really pressing away from the mat here. Inhale to come back out. And exhale. So go ahead and do a couple more of these on your own breath, whatever feels good. This is great for low back pain and just waking up the spine as well. If you want to do little circles, move around a little bit. I like for this to be more of a flow and not so robotic. So you guys just try to do whatever feels good. If a stretch feels good, just hang out in it for a little while. And you can bring your shoulder to hip, looking back, doing the opposite side. It's a nice little way to get warmed up, woken up. And then once you're ready, coming back to a, a tabletop here, we're going to tuck the toes under. We're going to send the hips back, coming back into downward dog. This is our first downward dog of the day. So check in with the body. Check in with the legs. See where you're at, what feels tight. You can go ahead and walk the dog, which is bending one knee, planting the heel of the other onto the mat, and then switching sides. Excellent. From here, guys, gazing at our hands, we're going to take tiny steps towards our hands. Just nice, slow, tiny little steps here. As many as you can do until you come up to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, raising all the way up. Inhale. And exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. Inhale, arms come out and up. Reach, 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 reach. Little back bend if you like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. This time bending the right knee, planting the right hand down to the mat, or if you have a book or anything you need on top right there, on the mat as well. And then inhale, the left hand up, looking up. Goal is again to try to keep that left leg straight. And then we'll exhale the left hand down, bend the left knee, and raise the right hand all the way up, looking up. Nice, slow, controlled breathing here. And then exhale the 
the right hand down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward with a more of a slight bend to the knees, grabbing onto opposite elbows, and maybe a little bit wider of a stance here. Relaxing the head all the way down and just rock side to side. Relaxing the head, just nice, nice and fluid here. Relaxing the upper back, upper neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold all the way. Inhale, root to rise, coming all the way up. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. Inhale, arms come out and up. Reaching a little back bend here if you like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to step back into high plank. And in our high plank, if you're shifted back a little bit, we're going to shift our weight forward. And again, fingers spread wide. And we're going to lower all the way down into our belly. So coming all the way down nice and slow. Scoot back a little bit here. Next, we're going to have our hands underneath their shoulders. Inhale, raising up. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, not using our hands to press ourselves up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Good job, guys. We'll do it again. Inhale, raising up. Again, engaging the legs, the glutes, raising the hands up off the mat. Maybe get to your highest point. And then exhale, coming all the way down. Good job, guys. You can rest your right cheek on the mat if you like. Take a breath. Now, if you like to, you can clasp your hands behind your back. If you can't quite reach your hands, just keep your hands underneath you or reach back. So clasping the hands behind the back. Inhale, raise the chest, pulling the hands back and down. release it down. Good job, guys. From here, we're going to reach our right hand out to the side. And then we're going to take our left hand pressing away from the mat. We're going to roll over. <laughs> and we're rolling onto our right side while pressing ourselves with our left hand. If you'd like to, you can keep your legs straight, stacking them on top of each other. Or feel free to bend the left knee. And then just coming over. If you need more of a stretch, you can always bring your right knee up to meet it. This is very intense though, so um, if you're not used to this pose or you're just trying to push yourself, just make sure to listen to your shoulders so you don't um, injure yourself. Easy breathing here. Just a few more moments. And then we'll release our legs, rolling over nice and gently onto our stomachs again, coming off that right shoulder, and then bringing our right hand closer to our face this time. Left hand comes out to the left side, and again, we're gonna push ourselves around, push yourselves onto our left side with our right hand, and again, if you'd like to, you can bring your right leg up. If not, stay wherever is most comfortable for you, because the shoulders are uh, a necessity here, because I know mine are a little sore today, so definitely be careful when doing stretches with your shoulders, though, guys. And again, if you need to, and every side's different, so maybe you can't get as far over as you did before, that's fine, just listen to your body, trust yourself. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come back onto our stomachs here, just nice and slow, nice and easy. Beautiful, crossing our hands now in front of us. So I'm bringing my right hand over to the left side, left hand over to the right. And we're just going to sit here. If you can, try to reach your chin to the floor you can. If not, it's okay. Just a nice counteractive stretch here for the shoulders. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Lean over to the left, getting that right arm underneath it, then come over to the right, get that left arm underneath. Coming up now into full up dog, so inhale, coming up. Exhale, tuck the toes, shift the hips back, downward dog, walk it out. Gazing towards the hands, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms out and up, all the way up. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. Inhale, arms come out and up. Little back bend if you'd like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, high plank. From here, guys, you can always uh, bring your knees down first if you'd like, but remember, shift your weight forward, bring the knees down, coming all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, shift the hips back, downward dog, walk it out. Raise the right leg up high. Bending the knee, let the ankle fall to the left. Making little circles with our right ankle. Moving around just a little bit here. Maybe the opposite direction. And then straightening that leg out and slowly lower it back down. Left leg comes up high. And again, bending the knee, let the ankle fall to the right. And again, maybe some little circles here. And maybe the other way. And then straighten that leg out and slowly lower it back down. Gazing towards the hands, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. Now we're going to bring our hands out to a T for eagle arms. Right stacks over the left, and then we're gonna bend at the elbows, wrapping our hands around. Again, if you're having tight shoulders today or any issues with the shoulders, you're actually gonna bring elbow to elbow, wrist to wrist, hand to hand. But either way, elbows come up, hands away from the face, good job. Now maybe we can have a little bit wider stance, so wider than hip stance. Take a nice inhale in, shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward. Making sure to have a nice micro bend in the knees. Relaxing the head. This is just great for the upper back area. Just a nice stretch here and for the shoulders. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And inhale to come up nice and slow, nice and easy. Good job, guys. Now relax the arms down by the sides, shoulders up and down, shake it out, whatever you gotta do. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. My allergies have been horrible this week. Guys, hands out to a T again. This time, left over right, or whichever arm that you didn't do opposite, or do the opposite. That was a little confusing, you know what I meant. <laughs> left over right this time, bending at the elbow, and wrapping the hands around again to come into eagle arms. Or again, if you'd like, elbow to elbow, wrist to wrist, coming up. But either way, elbows up, hands away from the face, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold forward. Again, a nice little slight bend in the knees here. Inhale to come up. Beautiful. If you want to challenge yourself with this eagle, we can try to do the legs as well. So we'll round the right leg down. We'll take our left leg and wrap it around. And then whenever you're ready, you can take a seat. But don't forget, elbows up, hands away from the face. And this is just a challenge pose. 
If you don't feel like doing this, keep your hands in eagle arms. And then we'll unwind here, shake it out, whatever you gotta do. Excellent. Grounding ourselves down now, top of the mats. Feet are six inches to hip width apart. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, high plank. Again, optional chaturanga here. Lower down to the knees. Lower down slowly, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, shift the hips back, downward dog. Walk it out. Right leg goes up high. Bring the knee into the chest, the foot fall between the hands. Stay low. From here, guys, we're gonna drop the left knee down, untuck the left toes. And we're gonna come up scooping the ground with our fingertips coming up into a crescent lunge. Right foot's facing forward, left knee is on the ground. Beautiful. Hands at heart. Twist to the right and open up. Taking nice easy breaths here. Inhale, back to center, hands at heart still. We're going to lower our left hand down. I'm tucking my left toes under, pressing my knee up, and raising my right hand up for a nice little twist here again. Looking at that right hand. And then dropping the right hand down. We're going to actually step the right foot back for downward dog, walk it out. Left leg goes up high. Bring the knee into the chest, the foot fall between the hands, and again, stay low. Dropping the right knee down, untucking the right toes if you'd like. Gracing the ground on the fingertips, with the fingertips, coming up, crescent lunge. And hands at heart. This time, twisting to the left and opening the arms up. Hands at heart, coming back to center. We're going to drop the right hand down beside the left foot, tucking the right toes under, lifting the knee off the mat. Inhaling the left hand up, looking up again for a nice twist pose. And then dropping the left hand down, stepping the left foot back, downward dog, walk it out. Gazing towards the hands, bend the knees. This time, guys, we're actually going to float through to come into boat pose. So jumping through, even if it's like a cheetah version. Coming up, boat pose. So I'm resting on my sit bones in the back. Knees are up, heels together, hands by our sides. You might hear my husband change the record. <laughs> or just flipping sides, I guess. Holding here still, a little bit longer, you got it. Take a nice inhale in. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower down to low boat, but all the way, inhale to come back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whew, 10. Good job, guys, coming onto our feet. Soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Ooh, that one got me. Ooh. Hands can be on the ankles or the tops of the feet. 
Opening the chest, letting the elbows rest on the thighs. Reaching forward. If you like to, you can also start to reach your hands out in front of you, walking them slowly forward. And then walking the hands closer to the body. Soles of the feet onto the ground. And when she'll wipe her the feet, or excuse me, knees back and forth. I almost said elbows. <laughs> Back and forth, excellent. From here, guys, we're going to cross our right ankle over our left. We're going to scoot our left heel closer to our butts here. We're just going to get a nice stretch here, so it's, it's a variation of pigeon pose. Feel this all in the back of the right glute to the right side. And then from here, we're actually going to start to lean our left knee and right foot over to the left to come up, keeping our right hand behind us. Inhale, left hand up, twist slightly to the right, left elbow on the outside of the right knee and looking over our right shoulder. Taking nice, easy breaths here. And then inhale the left hand up, exhale it down. We'll come back, so we're bringing ourselves over to the right side this time. We're gonna drop our right foot down, and this time crossing over the left ankle over the right knee and then bringing our right foot closer to our bum and pressing ourselves up with our wrists and our hands. Open chest, open heart, keeping again, don't collapse in this pose. Try to keep the shoulders back, chest open. Your feet are still engaged as well. So the right knee goes over to the right, left foot over as well. And now I'm behind you guys, but right hand's behind us, or excuse me, left hand is behind us. Inhale up the right hand, exhale it over to the outside of the left knee, looking over our left shoulder. breaths here. And then inhale the right hand up, exhale it down, coming back again to center, releasing our left foot down to the mat as well. From here guys, grabbing onto the backs of our thighs, coming all the way down into our backs. Beautiful. This time our hands are going to be down by our side, so almost touching the, the uh, heels here. Your fingertips should be touching the heels. Shoulders are down into the mat. We're not going to use our hands to press into the mat. Inhale, raising the hips, coming more onto the shoulders. Taking nice deep breaths here. version of bridge if you like. If you'd like to try something different, we'll do it here. Inhale, hips come up. This time clasping our hands to come a little bit more onto the back. Or if you want to challenge yourself, another really good thing to do or another fun thing to do is to lift one leg up in the air. 
So whichever bridge you're in, if you want to try this out, just to challenge yourself. Keep it in the air for as long as you like. And maybe even switch here. And then releasing it down, all the way down to the ground here. Beautiful. If you have will in your practice and you would like to go into will, feel free. If you don't feel like doing will today, do your favorite version of bridge or grab onto your ankles. Either way, inhale, hips come up. Slowly coming down to the mat again, this time bringing the knees into the chest, rocking side to side, massaging that lower back. Keeping our right knee tucked into our chest, we're going to release our left leg down. And from here, our right hand comes out to the right side. Left hand peels this right knee over to the left. Try not to hit my monkey. <laughs> and then looking over at our right hand. Inhale, back to center. Again, giving ourselves one last hug, squeeze. Release that right leg down. Left knee into the chest. Left hand out to the left side. And again, using our right hand to peel that left knee over to the right while we look at our left hand. back to center, both knees into the chest, nice hug, squeeze. This time guys, we're going to try something different. So for plow or shoulder pose here, we're going to come up onto our butts, or excuse me, onto our backs, lifting our butts up, reaching our feet up into the air. If you'd like to as well, you can press yourself up against a wall, using your feet to climb up the wall and maybe doing one leg first and the other. But if you're here, you're bringing your chest to your chin, not vice versa. Holding yourself up. If you like to play around, feel free to play around. If you want to bring it back, see if your toes can touch the ground behind you or the couch. <laughs> That's as far as I can go. <laughs> and then when you're ready, coming down again onto your butt here, knees into the chest. Nice little hug, squeeze. Grabbing onto the opposite sides of the feet. Or excuse me, just the outside to the feet, not opposite, outside. Bringing the knees into the armpits here for happy baby pose. Taking a nice deep belly breaths while we're here. Try not to lift your head up to look. Just keep your head nice and relaxed. If you want to, you can rock side to side. You can bring the soles of your feet together if you like, letting your knees rest. Right hand on the chest, left hand on the abdomen. Let your breathing return to normal. Let your shoulders sink into the floor. Soften the face. Focus on your intention.
doing Shavasana if you'd like. I know I make the Shavasana short just because, I don't know, he'll be with the video <laughs> on me for Shavasana. So if you'd like to, though, you can bend your knees and fall to the left or the right side, placing your hands under your head until you're ready to come up to a comfortable seated position. I just want to thank you guys again so much for joining me on this online yoga teaching journey. I hope you guys feel re-energized. Um, this, I know this class is a little bit shorter. I know that's hard to keep attention spans too throughout uh, online uh, yoga because we all have all these distractions around. So I'm trying to do the best to give you guys what you need. If you need anything else from me, please let me know. I'm here for you. Um, I want to talk about this stuff and give you guys exactly what you need. I know this is basically a karma class and we're asking for donations, but we appreciate it so much and I know the charities really appreciate you guys, everything that you're able to donate, even if it's something small, big donation, whichever. Go to Marines also um, uh, pledge to honor matching these donations as well. So whenever the tap room reopens, they'll be able to match then. So, but they're gonna backtrack on all these classes. So I hope you guys are taking advantage of that. Uh, Nota Brewing, they're just wonderful people. It's because of them that I've learned about all these charities and um, you know, just found out about all this. So since they were able to do the You Drink, We Donate, and then we switched over to the online yoga platform for it. So it's just all kind of worked out. So, uh, and again, guys, if you want to grab some Nota Brewing beers and make it feel like a real uh, Nota Hop Yoga class, you can. Their uh, drive through is still open, so feel free to go through that. Uh, they have so many new beers that you can grab to go, so definitely take advantage of it while you can. And guys, as always, support local. Uh, I know Nota Company Store, which is the shirt I'm wearing, they have merch as well, and they also now have turned to a grocery store. So if you're in the Nota area, go check them out. Their stuff is so cool and so cute. They even do a bunch of uh, recipes and, and just everything. They're just fun guys, so Joanne Scott are awesome. So guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday, and uh, like I said, please reach out to me for anything. Again, this was Otis Redding on the record player, and uh, yeah. I will see you guys next Sunday, okay? Love you and miss you guys so much.